Today we will discuss how to find the weight of a body in a moving lift. We know that the weight of a body is mg where g is 9.8. But if you put that body in a lift and the lift is moving upward or downward, then the effective weight of the body will change. Okay, if you measure, let us take by using some spring. So the measurement that will be different than mg. Okay, so let us find this first case when the lift is moving up with the acceleration A. So lift moving up with acceleration A. Yes. So this is our lift and inside this a spring is hanging which is used to measure the weight of the block. And this is our mass m. This entire system is moving up with acceleration a. Now we will draw the free body diagram of this mass m. And we will show all the forces that are acting on it. Here is our mass m. Downward gravity is acting. That is mg. Upward this tension force is acting due to the spring here and it is moving up with an acceleration a. Now the weight that we will get that will be the value of t because the spring will measure the t. So here we can write the equation first. So we can say t upward minus mg which is downward is equals to m into a. From here t is equals to mg plus ma. So we are getting t is equals to m into g plus a. So this will be our weight when the lift is moving up. Here we can say that effectively our g is becoming g plus a. Okay. So when the lift is moving up, we can say that g effective is equals to g plus a. Therefore, we can say the weight is m into g effective. Okay. Second case, when the lift is moving down with the acceleration a. Okay. So, lift moving down with an acceleration a. So, again we can show the lift. Let us take this is our lift. Inside the lift, this our spring is hanging, which we are using to weigh. This is our mass m, and this entire system is moving down with acceleration a. So, first of all, we will draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram of this mass m. This is our mass m downward the force due to gravity is acting mg upward the tension force due to spring and this is moving downward with acceleration a. So here we can say mg minus t that is equals to ma okay because this block is moving down. And from here we can find T, T is equals to mg minus ma. Therefore, T is equals to m into g minus a. So here this is our weight and here we can say our g effective is being g minus a. Okay. Whenever you have to find the weight of a block in moving lift, you can use the formula weight is equals to m into g effective. Where g effective is equals to g plus a for moving up case when the lift is moving up. Second, when it is moving down, the g effective is g minus a. This is for moving down.